Hey, our friends, here we're going to draw a Cinco de Mayo girl. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers and some paper and... Something to go with! All right, let's start. Oh, yeah, there's that slippery. <laughs> Try again. There you go. There we go. Let's first draw her eyes. We're going to draw two circles next to each other. About that size. Yeah, then we could draw another circle that's smaller inside towards the top. And then we're going to color in the big circle and leave little circles white. Wait. You can even add eyelashes to your eyes. I'm going to too. Because it's a girl. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Two eyelashes on each side and you add three. Now, I love this little white highlight in her eyes. It makes her eyes look shiny. Now let's draw her mouth. And I'm just going to draw a little smile in between her two eyes. Yeah. There you go. A little extra detail. Color that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's draw her ears. I'm going to draw one ear over here, C shape, and a backward C over here. Yeah. Now let's draw her chin. And I'm going to draw a little curve that comes over to each ear. All right, now we can draw her hair. First, we're gonna draw two lines. We're gonna start here, here by her ear. We're gonna go up, and then we're gonna come back down to a, her other ear. Yeah, now over here, let's draw a circle. This is gonna be for a rose or a flower in her hair. There, and now we can draw, let's draw a little line coming diagonal down. Then we're gonna draw a line across. Then we're going to draw a line going up. Yeah. And then we're going to draw another line going across. And there's our little rose. This <laughs> simple rose. Now let's draw her hair, the top of her hair. So I'm going to draw a little line that connects her ear up to the rose. Mine's really small. There you go. Then we're going to imagine that going behind the rose. And we're going to draw a big rainbow line that goes over the top and connects to her other ear. <laughs> oh, I like it. She's got a lot of hair. <laughs> You should probably watch your drawing. Now over here, let's draw another C shape. This is for the bun in her hair. Yeah. All right, now we can draw her body. Let's first draw a U shape that comes down like this and then back up. This is for her dress. Really pretty Mexican dress. There you go. And then we can draw two lines coming down. Then let's connect them. Then let's actually extend each line or the side of that line out further. There, now we can draw the bottom of her dress. We're gonna draw a big U shape like this, comes around and back up. All right, now let's draw her little feet down here at the bottom. I'm gonna draw two U's singing <laughs> out of the bottom. It's like she's in a boat, but her feet are out of yeah. the boat. <laughs> this is her dress. She's going to be holding up the sides of her dress. So let's draw a little arm that comes down and touches the side of her dress. And I'm going to draw a little arm that comes down here too. Good. Now let's draw the inside of her arm. I'm going to draw another line coming down on each side. All right. Now she's holding her dress out. It's kind of cute. <laughs> All right, now let's add the details to her dress. Let's first start down here at the bottom, and we're gonna draw another curve that goes right along the bottom edge of her dress. Then let's draw another one that's right next to it, except further, well, further away. Same shape, but further away. Yeah, now let's draw a zigzag line in between those two lines. And we're going to go all the way around to the other side of her dress. Good. Now we can also draw, let's do one more curve that goes all the way around. And then we can also draw, let's draw lines like this that fan around her dress. She's looking really pretty, Hadley. You're doing great. 
Now up here, let's add a couple more lines for stripes on the neck of her dress. So I added two. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our little Cinco de Mayo girl and she looks really cute, except we're not completely finished. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color her. She's gonna look even better all colored in. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward again, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Give me five. You did awesome on coloring your little girl. She turned out perfect. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah, you promise? Mm -hmm. Now it's okay that her two drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to? Practice. Practice. We hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own little Cinco de Mayo girl. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.